Right then, here we go, the TR2. We have a TR2 in red. Most common color, of course, as we all know, but everyone likes red. Uh, nice new hood, new side screens, I believe. New interior, very, very nice. Black with uh, white piping. Uh, so the hood is absolutely brand fine new. It's recently been sort of recommissioned and gone over. Um, comes from a source that we've dealt with for many, many years. He knows his cars, although it's not his, it's a friend of his, and, and he's put it through us um, on behalf of his pal. Now, nice the dashboard. Un lovely inside. Yeah, the unusual nice. thing about it is standard steel wheels. It's retained the standard steel wheels. All right, then. Which is nice, absolutely right, yeah. Um, I mean, the worst thing you could do with this car, as we all know, is put chrome wires on. I mean, that would just make it look like a Christmas tree. If you're going to put any wires on at all, for Christ's sake, put painted wires on. Um, it's a TR2, as you can see, narrow grille. Nice early uh, early vehicle, it's probably about a 55 or something like that, I don't know. Um, lovely engine bay, nice and clean and what have you. Engine sounds fit. I haven't driven it, but it sounds fit. I went and picked it up myself. I know where it comes from. I know it's uh, the genuine bunch of people. They're, they're a bunch of enthusiasts in South Yorkshire. Uh, and Chris, who we deal with, looks after his fat pals motors. Now, it's not the straightest body in the world. Be warned, it's not the straightest. Um, there's a few like dings and dongs about it. Uh, not, not, not rust or anything on that sort of line, but it's lived a life, um, but it's reserved pretty well accordingly. Um, cosmetically, it's very immaculate looking, but I've seen better panels, that's all I'm saying. I've seen better panels. But then again, when you look around like boot edges, I mean, this is where they go. Everyone knows, well, they should do if they know these cars. This is where they go here, look, terrible. They go really bad on there. Look how good that is, really good. So it's actually, it gives me the impression of being a very, very solid ex-American car, but over there, they do tend to knock them about a bit. Yeah. And they, you know, they, they ding them and they don't care. The paint is not as good as it could be. It would probably benefit from a flattened polish in places, but it doesn't need it. It's fine as it is. It will go into any show, not disgrace itself, but it won't win a concourse.